I got brides in Atlanta, she's a dog in the family, credit cards in the scams, getting the licks in the van, legacies. Hello everyone and welcome to another Let's Play walkthrough of Mafia Definitive Edition. My name is The War, also known as the After Patch Game Dad. And yeah, I'm just gonna actually play through this uh, with no commentary in the middle. Basically, I'm done with the exam, so I'm a teacher, so I actually have to mark scripts, so I'm done with that. So I'm just gonna take a chill pill and just enjoy whatever it is that the students actually have done and it's really game, so... I do appreciate a like and subscribe if you guys are walking around. So if you like, actually uh, like what you see and what you watch, please drop a like, subscribe, and do share the video around for other people to actually like and enjoy. So once again, if you had a definitive edition. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati, the city councilor. The same. Merle let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is. He's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si, ho capisco. Tommy. If you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di... di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Pi favori. Parli almeno un po' di italiano? Il capo ti ha detto il piano? Uh, I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. Ah, fantastico. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the boss told me. Uh, please, uh, uh, understand. Entriamo dal labirinto? senza farci sentire né vedere. La cassaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. Entriamo da lì. Over the wall. Oh, amaze. Sì, un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno il labirinto. <sighs> sure wish I could have a night off.
Sure wish I could have a night off. <laughs> Think that's all of them. Salvatore! Where are you? We're clear. Tommy! I hear! Where the hell did he go? Son of a Tommy! Guys are pain in the ass. Forza, Pieri, come here. Tommy, I hear. Uff, sei un tipo tosto, eh? What? Saying it's behind the painting. See, si, see. Si. Okay, I understand. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. What you can do. Shit. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza. Doesn't matter. Come on, we need to get out of here. Vai dietro, dietro. They gotta be upstairs. Are the safe's in his study. Like that? 
Salvatore! I'll deal with him! He don't know shit. Moving to cover! <laughs> gotcha! Finally, I get your first time. Forza! Andiamo, ce n'è! Presto! E semina gli sfiri! I know! Whatever you're saying, I know! Police? in questo paese è davvero ostinata! He's gone. Go back to patrols. Ah, grazie a Dio. Salvatore, where do I take you? Salvatore, where do I take you now? Home. Yeah, where home? Uh, six and uh, Naipol. Okay, let's go. Tony, devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Hai capito? Ci ho quasi rimesso la pelle in quella villa. Ed è tutta colpa tua. E impara almeno un po' di italiano. Per rispetto della nostra patria. Ah, è come parlare al mio cane, lo so. A Cristo. Dovevo dirlo. Non farlo mai più. Mai più. Ok, ok. Uh, sure. Good night. Night. Last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for ten years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. You've heard them. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss. Any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah. And you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south. And he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. 
Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last bean pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab bass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. We won't let you down, boss. We won't let you down, boss. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your driver safe, boss. One of two floors. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. You okay, Carlo? Looking kind of like you shake yourself. Ah, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen, I spend more time with a Don than all of you've put together. Sure, sure. Sat out on the road waiting till he's finished with his broad. <laughs> If you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you're coming. The boss said you're coming. Just, you got a face like you're being taken for an errand. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is Gates sell or Morello anyways? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is gonna get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. They'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named a Salieri. This plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then... Then you get to pick holes. Till then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You actually serious? Fellas, knock it off. Christ. It seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Polly? Only that he's got a bust-up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there. Polly, good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <sighs> Paulie! Uh, 
No, no. It's okay. Oh, what? I told you we got to make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's going to be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're going to be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> took a bullet. Well, this ain't as bad as it looks. Now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. No, go, go, go. So long as you guys clear them out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll back you up. Intense. Don't feel flames on my face. Christ. Stay close and keep moving, fellas. Keep the booze safe. I'll move the truck with you. You see more, you shoot them. Knew this wasn't over. Got him! Over here!
getting out of here. I can't believe I lived through that. Follow him close. If I know Morello, he'll have guys on the streets. Lots of guys. Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow them down some. Get them where it hurts! Yes, we are too! Lost them all. Thank Christ for that. Let's head home. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. Though tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. It's like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Well, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Working up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All oh, that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. 
We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into no records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. And by 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Why? Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take. But once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. That was the missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up. But he never did anything that might start an all out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales. Because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. Hey, so that'll be the end of this round of videos for uh, Mafia Definitive Edition. Now, if, of course, if you actually like what I do, and uh, I do appreciate the support oh, that you all give me right now, so do please like and subscribe to this uh, oh, hey, channel and video. And I'll see you guys soon for the next video. Bye-bye.